Hello students. Hope all are okay with the new method of learning. We completed the first two chapters. I expect all of you studied it very well. Today, let us discuss about the third chapter titled In Search of Earth's Secrets. During these months, we are locked in our houses and restricted permission of journey to an extent. If we are traveling from the surface to the interior of the earth, how it would be? Who would be there to restrict us? By reading the diary given in the textbook, we can understand the experience of a journalist in a mine. The Penang gold mine at Western area in South Africa, having a depth equal to the height of 1030 story buildings, while he was descended, while he was moving down, the temperature increased. Years blocked due to pressure variation. That is, as depth increases, temperature and pressure also increases. This is the one mystery he revealed to us about the Earth's wonderful interior. What is the reason for high pressure in the interior of the Earth? For example, if you are keeping hundreds of ripe mango fruit in a sack, what will happen to the mangoes at the bottom? It will be smashed or squeezed by the above mango's weight. Similar way, the reason for the high pressure in the interior of the earth it is due to the weight used by the upper layers. Let me tell you some realities about the temperature. We can't suffer summer with 48 degrees Celsius in Kerala. The strong hard iron melts at 1538 degrees Celsius. But the temperature at the center of the earth is about 5000 degrees Celsius. We have reached 225 million kilometers away up to Mars planet. Because of the high temperature, Man haven't yet went beyond 12 km deep. Hence, how do we get the information on the Earth's interior? Is there any sources? Yes. Which are they? They are, first one, from the materials reaching the Earth's surface after volcanic eruption. Second one, from data from informations collected from mines and third one by analysis of the propagation or transmission of waves produced during earthquakes volcanic eruption mines earthquakes all these are happening in the interior of the earth if a child fall in a borewell it indirectly means that there is no way to get him or her back alive. Based on the analysis of the waves generated during earthquakes, the different layers of the earth can be studied. From the diagram shown, we can identify and study about the three layers of the earth, that is the crust, mantle and core. Let us know more about the features of the different layers of the earth the first layer of the earth is crust crust is the outer shell of the earth its thickness is about 40 kilometer it is divided into continental crust and oceanic crust continental crust is rich with silica and alumina by taking the first two letters of the two words, we got the name CR and continental crust is also known as CR. And oceanic crust is known as SIMA because it is rich with the silica and magnesium. So by taking the first two letters of the two words, we got the word SIMA. So crust is divided into continental crust and oceanic crust and a crust is comparatively thin. The second layer of the earth is mantle. Mantle lies below the crust. 
and its thickness is about up to 2900 km from the crust mantle is also divided into two upper mantle and lower mantle is it clear from the picture an upper mantle is made up of silicon compounds it is in solid state lower mantle it is in semi liquid state the third layer of the earth is core core is the central part of the earth its thickness is from 2900 to 6371 km core is also divided into two outer core and inner core is it clear from the picture an outer core it is in a molten state inner core or nife inner core means nife nife means the inner core is made up of nickel and iron by taking the two letters of that nickel and iron nickel means ni iron ferrous from taking that two letters of the two words we got the name nife inner core is known as nife it is in solid state due to its high pressure by analyzing the layers of the earth we can understand that the crust is the most important layer on the earth for man why is it so because we use the soil which is present on the crust that is we use it for agricultural purposes as source of water to get minerals of various types which indirectly helps our industry so we should protect our earth now in this chapter we have studied about the sources of information about earth's interior different layers of the earth its features and how crust is essential to us read the portions again and go through the pdf file okay thank you